This type of copper pipes, copper fittings and brass flanges are used in various industrial piping. Copper pipe and copper fittings are as per BSEN 12449 grade R250. This type of small dia copper fittings are called flare fittings having socket end and made from copper pipe by cold forming process. Usually copper pipe is inserted in the socket and then silver bridging is done on entire socket surface. Instead of bridging, we can weld copper pipe with copper fittings using copper filler wear, but bridging will be cheaper and easier compared to welding. Usually, this type of cast brass flanges are used in copper piping. Brass is as per BS1400 HTB1. This side of the flange is having raised face with serration and other side of the flange is having socket where copper pipe is inserted. Then silver bridging is done in between copper pipe and brass flange on entire socket surface. If we see from other side of the flange, socket ID of brass flange should match with copper pipe ID. Now this copper pipe will be bridged with this brass flange using silver bridging rod. Before bridging, Bridging powder is used over the bridging surfaces to remove impurities and to prevent oxidation. Then preheating is done using oxyacetylene flame for about 1 minute. Then silver bridging rod mixed with bridging powder is used for bridging. Bridging is a process of joining two similar or dissimilar material where bridging rod is melted and goes to bridging surfaces in capillary action and adhesive bonding is achieved. Normally bridging temperature is about 800 degrees Celsius but melting point of copper and brass is about 1100 degrees celsius so during bridging there is no fusion of base metal that means copper or brass
Now, bridging material is accumulated over the socket. That means it has already reached inside the socket by capillary action and now bridging is complete. After bridging, copper pipe assembly is pneumatically tested and any leakage is detected using soap water. If we find any leakage through brass flange, the entire pipe spool need not be rejected, only bridged brass flange to be removed from copper pipe joint and new brass flange to be bridged with copper pipe. After testing copper pipe and brass flange assembly, we found leakage through body of this brass flange. Now this bridged brass flange will be removed from copper pipe, keeping it in vertical plane and heating it at about 800 degrees Celsius so that bridging will be melted and the flange will fall down. Now entire bridging has been melted and brass flange has come out from copper pipe joint. Copper pipe and brass flange has not been distorted and new brass flange will be bridged with this copper pipe and the copper pipe assembly will be tested again. Now you can see melted bridging which has come out from brass flange inside due to heating.